Africa has risen. Today's world is Africa's world. Everybody has turned back to look at us. Just 10 years ago, everybody had turned their back on us. That's the first opportunity that you need to understand. Now, why is everybody looking at Africa? We're talking about the opportunities in real estate. What is real estate? The definition of it is just selling fractional spaces. That's it. You know, you, you have to have in your head that you're going to create a space, and the space that you're going to create has to have a functionality that becomes sellable. That's it. Africa is trying to have urbanization before industrialization. I think they need to go back and start from industrialization to come to urbanization. Because you need a middle income wage, an average wage, to survive on. This is what will make the banks interested in lowering their rates for us. If we don't have industrial platforms that pays people over $500,000 a month, then how are these people going to afford to pay three or $400 a month for their mortgages? First of all, the wage is not there. The salary is not there. And we keep forgetting that we don't have the industrial platforms that will create the average employment for the average African. Now, the opportunities in this is that in Africa, it's about to evolve, it's about to be revolutionized again. Then the opportunities will not just start from just real estate, but it will start from every single product, from technology to industrialization to you name it. But the good thing is, it doesn't matter whether it's Microsoft, or it's Instagram, or it's Yahoo, or it's a hotel, it still falls back into real estate.